This is the KuCam Ego, but is it just a 3D GoPro or is it something completely different? Well, in this video, I'm going to be answering that question and so much more. So first, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the KuCam Ego before I move on to showing you why it is completely different from a standard action camera. And the first thing that you will want to know about the KuCam Ego is that these two cameras can shoot up to 1080p, they're both half inch sensors, and they're both f1.8 and nice and wide. And yes, they capture both video and photo. Now we have a nice 2.4 inch screen on the back for changing settings, changing modes, everything like that, which is super nice. And for mounting, it's just like a standard camera with a quarter 20 on the bottom. Now for battery, this has two cameras to power and the battery is smaller at 1340 milliamp hours. So it gets quite a bit less battery life than something like a GoPro for reference, but it's not bad. Also for viewing yourself, they give you a little mirror so that you can do that, which is really cool. Just wanted to mention that. Okay, but specs for a 3 camera are kind of irrelevant because I can't even show you too much b-roll from this because it's gonna you're gonna be seeing it in 2d so how do you overcome this problem and they came up with a perfect solution you just snap these goggles that are included in the box on the back and the screen automatically detects them and now you can just look through this and see your 3d content that you filmed I really want to stress this is so nice and I would not really be into this camera if it wasn't for this and again it is included in the box and after saying all of that I'm not trying to get you to buy this but if you are in the market for a camera like this make sure you use those links down in the description which are right next to that free to hit subscribe button but how does this compare to a standard action camera? And the answer is, these are for completely different things. This 3D camera is designed to get a unique perspective on everything and to just make maybe boring shots come alive and to see things in a whole new perspective. On the other hand, the GoPro is waterproof, it's durable, it has a super high resolution sensor to basically do film activities and action and sports and things like that. These are completely different cameras and there's not really a comparison to be made here, but I just wanted to explain that. But if you want to see the new king of action cameras, click this video right here and I will see you there.